ask, for, to ask how many people is this your first business meeting? You suckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are now going to proceed with item B.2.1, best series. The chair has proposed 10 minutes. Is there any objection? Mr. Carnival, for what purpose does the member rise? Parliamentary inquiry. Is it in order to make um, a motion to amend at this time? Yes. Um, I, mo um, I move that we amend uh, the best series uh, to match uh, the amendment moved on page 72 of your agenda. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's very long. Uh, but in fact, in fact, it's a motion by substitution uh, to uh, replace the best series consideration by making the uh, Constitution substantially more friendly to series that extend over time, and also to add a best epic category um, at the same length as best series. Is there a second? Second. All right. Four, er, five minutes of debate time. Mr. We'll count that as a speech in favor. Anybody wishing to speak against the motion? Mr. Buff. As you can find in the committee's report, I believe that what that the main motion of the committee represents the best compromise we were able to work out, and I would favor having that be the motion considered on the floor. Thank you. Is there another speech in favor of the motion of the amendment? See, Miss Secor. Point of inquiry for Mr. Kernigold. My name is Kate Seacole. Does this actually create two new categories? No. Okay, maybe I'm misreading it. Uh, it would create, yeah, I'm um, Sorry. I yield for a response. I, I, I yield for a response. <laughs> It would create one new category. Um, it would simply also make uh, categories in general um, up for re-eligibility when um, a previously nominate, nominated work gets substantially long enough that it's worth considering again. I, I, I continue to be confused. How, how do we handle this? You go and sit down. Is your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there another speech in favor of the motion? Okay, I am going to put the question then. To a man. To a man. Are we out of time for against? We're, we're not out of time for against, um, but I would like to put the question. I don't think we need more debate time on this. All right. So all those in favor of the amendment as outlined on page 72, please raise your hands. All right, all those against, the amendment fails. Now back to debate time. <laughs> I suggested 10 minutes. Is there any objection to 10 minutes? For what purpose does the member rise? May I also move to amend this thing? Yes. <laughs> name? Hello, Rachel. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Rachel X, and, and I'm still really bad at this stuff. But I would actually like to move to amend to get rid of this thing about if it gets longer, it can be nominated again. So. so yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That is it's part of it. Such work to the end. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Yes, I would like to strike the um, at least two additional volumes thing. 
Yeah, that's, you can do amendments now. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. This is On page nine in section 3.3.x, it would strike everything beginning with if such a work has previously been a finalist to the end. All the way to the last period of that section. 3.3.x. So yes. it would kill the re eligibility. Is there a second? Second. All right. Is there. Yeah. Do you want to give um, a speech in favor? Uh, yeah, I'd like to do a speech in favor. It's mostly because I have supreme objections to this best series thing to begin with, but it's not my thing and that's fine. But opening it up to, well, but if you write more volumes, we'll, we'll try to nominate it again so that, I don't know, we'll, we'll have the endless series is, <laughs> why do you hate me? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I have to say. Thank you. Is there a speech? <laughs> Give it to her, please, thank you. Is there a speech against the amendment? Mr. Garib. Chris Garib, we, uh, the committee hacked through this for months and months and months. The intent is if, you, if it wins a best series, you're done. If you haven't won a best series, but you were on the final five, you, you take a two year break, or however many words that you a break to to get back eligible and then you go forward. So the, that the, that's the intent of what this was for. And I think that should be debated as part of the uh, amendment, not at the preliminary meeting. Is there another speech in favor? Ms. Secor, for what purpose does the member speech in favor? In favor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Kate Secor. I have pretty grave concerns about this turning into an award where we see the same five things on the ballot year after year, every, every other year or every third year with like one new thing getting switched out and switched out. We know that happens with popular works. We know that happens with popular new categories where people aren't necessarily familiar with the extent of the work available to be nominated. So I feel that having the re-eligibility qualification in is actually going to be bad for that particular category because it'll create that kind of dynastic thing that we've seen in other categories before. Here, here. Yes. For what purpose does the member rise? Uh, are we still doing speeches against it? Yes, this would be a speech against. <laughs> At least I really hope this is a speech against. Sorry, it is my first business meeting. Uh, um, so, I hear the concerns of, that were raised by the last speaker and I think some of the other concerns. My concern is we don't currently have a policy, someone please correct me if I'm wrong, that basically amounts to double jeopardy. Just because you've been on a ballot before doesn't mean you can't be on it again, right? Well, same year, same work, right, except, well, yes, but, well, and that's other things I know we're arguing about later, but the, the thing is, if you can be nominated in, I'm trying to think of how to say this, if, if a given series can be nominated in different years, if they're still eligible, then there's no reason we shouldn't, except obviously for the concerns raised by the other speakers about, well, we don't want to see the same things just year after year or every two or three years, just you know, at a bare minimum uh, that they're able to be on the schedule. At the same time, you know, we shouldn't say, oh, well, you came close, you're in the final five, you can never be nominated again for that series. Uh, Sorry. Yes. I'd like to. If if you look on page seventy two again, you will see that uh, my motion included um, a bit to uh, amend the specific part of the Constitution that bars works from winning, from being nominated multiple times. All right, Mr. That is uh, section one of my minority report. Or the I've recognized Mr. Harris for a parliamentary inquiry. Sorry, going to do it again. Um, I think we need to be clear. Um, I heard a speech about the intention of the makers of the motion um, about re eligibility, 